All right, guys. Told y'all I'd get a short video. The other day I got some light. I done the light show thing on it. Um, today I'm gonna show you the visual of the truck. This is the truck my boy. My boy come across a John Deere riding lawnmower, and he had an old toolbox, old Craftsman toolbox. He traded the old Craftsman toolbox and the riding John Deere riding lawnmower. The riding lawnmower had like 50 hours on it, so it was practically brand new. But he traded for this truck. It's a 91 Chevy Silverado, or C15, short wheelbase. Uh, got a five speed in it, 4.3 liter V6. Um, sitting on air ride. Uh, the bed's been raised. Um, he's been driving by this truck quite often and uh, decided to stop in and talk to the guy see if it was for sale of course it was sitting on the ground um been sitting for years um so he went by and didn't know this about it that it had been sitting but anyway he talked to the old boy and the old boy told him yeah he'd sell it for 3500 bucks the boy said well you know i'll have to wait till he got his income tax and uh the guy, you know, my boy said, well, you do any trading? He said, well, what do you got? Well, my boy named off a few things. He said, well, I'll trade, Get send me some pictures. So we sent him some pictures of the toolbox and the ride lawnmower, and he said, yeah, I'll trade you. So he went out and he traded for this. It didn't run. We had to uh, wreck her at home, put it on a flatbed, bring it home. Uh, story we got was the throttle body was messed up on it. Um, but that was the only thing wrong with it. I got it home, got to checking it out. I, I'm the world's worst. I mean, between work and working on things, I don't usually, I don't have, I sometimes forget to turn on the camera, and I should have on a lot of this. Got it home, turned it over. It wouldn't, it wouldn't do nothing. I mean, it was, you'd turn over, but it wouldn't fire or anything. Um, I got to checking everything, and I had spark but the distributor was so loose in there i mean it wasn't timed right at all and i hate timing this is the very first time i've ever screwed with timing mess with timing um i hate timing um but i finally i did it on this one but anyway uh to make a long story short we uh i checked it it didn't have fuel um got to listening the pump was turning on but i got to cracking a few fuel lines loose and it just wasn't pumping fuel um decided to go ahead and pull the tank um so yeah we had to take four bolts loose out of this take the bed off we didn't take it off we just raised it up set the front part of the bed on the back tire pulled the pump out put a brand new pump and a screen in there the pump was stopped up like you wouldn't believe I mean I'm surprised it even turned on it was so stopped up put a new fuel pump uh, screen uh, put a new uh, inline fuel filter which is under the door there uh, blowed out the fuel lines before I done all that unhooked it from the throttle body done all that put it back together we started getting fuel, but the throttle body was throwing fuel left and right. Well, that's what he said. It was flooding out. So I took it apart and rebuilt the throttle body in it. Took that in on my kitchen table. <laughs> Wife came in. Y'all going to be able to put that back together? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I rebuilt the throttle body on the kitchen table. Put it back in. Um, it was shooting fuel like you wouldn't believe it. So we unhooked the battery, reset the computer. I decided to time it. Got it timed and everything. Put it all back together. Put the plug back in. She fired up. She runs like a top. But she wasn't doing nothing when we first got it. It's got poppers on it. I don't know exactly how to do the popper thing. Here we go. But it's a pretty clean little truck. 
Getting a Jolly Rancher. See? But he had it so far out of time. Now it fires up on first try. And this is my very first timing that I've ever messed with. I've messed with, let me rephrase that. I've messed with timing, but I've never had good luck. Everybody says, oh, just take number one out when it pops up blows your finger out it's on top dead center that is not true people when it blows your finger out it still has a little ways to go so once your finger gets popped out of there stick a screwdriver or something in there watch it bring that screwdriver all the way up to the top if it starts to go back down then you need to bring it back up by turning it putting a uh, ratchet on the uh, uh, crank bolt on the pulley in the front but anyway, I got it timed. I need to hook a timing light up to it, time it a little better, but at least it's running. Um, so all in all, he's probably put about a hundred bucks in our time in it, but that runs pretty good. Um, I love the shifter. He's wanting to put an automatic in it, but anyway, it's got an air ride. It'll lay out more, but I it'll lay all the way on the ground. Hey, lay this down. bad for trading an old lawnmower for it. Get the LED lights. I'll throw on another video with the lights and stuff going. But anyway, she's up and running. I wish I'd uh, turned on the camera and showed y'all all the work we've done to it, but anyway, we're going to do a lot more work to it. Maybe I'll get a few more videos of it. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll let y'all go at this.